Good morning guys, how are y'all doing? I'm gonna head up to the canal, kind of show you guys what that looks like and um, check my water real fast and we'll go deal with the other farm that has the weeds. So here we are at the canal itself. This is actually where our water comes from. So it comes off the river, down this canal. Basically just have an underground uh, line that goes from the canal down. It's called the head gate into where our water or each farm's water comes in. So I'm just checking for weeds real fast here. This farm actually doesn't pull many weeds. So it's really easy. Sorry, it's a little out here, but right now what it's doing is it's just going from the head gate into the weir box to measure how much water we're getting and then into an underground line that will uh, take a look at some of the water down there. But pretty clean with the weeds, so that's good. We'll go check the water and see how it's doing. It's made it here over to my farm. Um, so when it goes through the underground line, it actually comes through the skated pipe here. And as you can see, it's got water coming out. So I turned this on uh, last night, actually. I already got part of the field irrigated, if you can see. But we're irrigating right here. One of our methods on how we irrigate water, we can use gated pipe, uh, open ditches, or if you can see on my other part of the farm, you can't see it, but we also have pivots as well. So I'm just checking to kind of see if I need to make an adjustment. This run hopefully will last about six hours and then I'll switch it over, um, keep moving down the field. So basically we're just, as I said, we're flooding the field with water. And there is ice here. I'm gonna bust my butt. I'm definitely getting my steps in today. Gonna have my workout. But I have my trusty ear gating boots on. Very stylish, go up to the knees. First year when I came back to the farm, only bought ones that are really low. And you fall in a ditch every now and then, and then you get soaked. So these, you kinda can go down a little bit farther. Water doesn't go up as high. It's, it's a good investment. I know, I said weeds. We don't have a lot of weeds coming out here. It's because I have a weed guard up there. I don't have any weeds in this farm. Don't worry, we're getting to that part. We'll be there. And as I told you, there's the weeds. This is the ditch. You can't tell because it's full of weeds. It's like this probably for about a mile and a half. So we're a mile and a half away from the canal. And it's like this the whole way. There's the other side. It's just as bad. So, it's, as I said, it's gonna be fun. Alright guys, so here we are at it. I really hope this GoPro is waterproof in case it falls off my head. So no, it's not like this every run per se. And some years are better than others. Uh, but when you have a 50 mile per hour wind two days before you run water, this usually happens. Now, as I talked about long boots, I don't know if you can see them or not, this is why. Uh, get out of here. Go on, get. Come on. Does anyone want some tumbleweeds? I'll sell them to you. You gotta come get them though. So all those guys that say they're, they irrigate from wells and run pivots. They have no idea what this is like. No offense to you guys, but this is true irrigation from a perspective of flood irrigation and from the river and canals. And it sucks sometimes. I would rather have rain and not to worry about irrigation, but that's where the family established the farm. So. Here we are. Should also ask if anyone wants a good workout. It's a good workout. I will train you for free. 
So you don't have to worry about a gym membership. And hey, they're closed right now because of quarantine. So come on down, free workout. I think it's a win-win for you guys. Get out of the house, come pull some weeds. I'll even include a beer. There are weeds everywhere. I don't even know where to throw the weeds. I'm swimming in weeds. I think I might even have nightmares about weeds tonight. Ah! All right. Random thought about this time of the year. I hate that it starts at 30 degrees in the morning. You have 5,000 layers on, and you start taking layers off and more layers off. Now I'm in a t-shirt. I think it's supposed to get 70 degrees today. 30 to 70, ridiculous. Well, that sucks. That's no fair, guys. They've got a lot more equipment than I do. But I kind of lied. I mean, we have some help equipment. It's not just me all by myself. It does help a lot having a backhoe, but they can't get it all. So that's where uh, we come in, pulling these weeds. Let's see all these weeds here. Eventually gonna make it down there and we'll be chasing those through. I think I can pull more weeds than they can. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I was told not to worry about it, so I guess I'll just stand here and look pretty. Take a look down at the bottom here. Let's we'll see what's going on. You need to, oh, what is that? That's a log. We don't want that sucker. Ugh. I'd rather the weeds. This is just burnt crap and it's flying all over me. Sorry for the heavy breathing. As I said, this is a workout. Whew. Upper arm strength. So what happens is we get these giant sticks in here. Excuse me. Oh. Well, this sucks. Oh. That's not what I wanted to happen. Try to. Yeah, I know. Here, grab it. Hurry up. No, grab that. Hurry. Just. You're not doing so hot, Superwoman. There goes all the weeds. Well, this might be fun. Why is he coming? Well, That 
was not supposed to break like that. Um, <laughs> so that makes it a pain. But I got one more stopper up here. And yeah, we're gonna try to fix this. So these piles up here were all done by hand. If you could see them here. Yeah, that's a lot of weeds. Again, not as much as what the backhoe did. Still a lot of weeds. This is this is the giant pile that I created.